Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ask a Nurse web series. I'm Aileen Tenefranca. I'm one of the nurse administrators here at the Brooklyn Hospital Center. Uh, this month, September, is Baby Safety Month, so we're going to discuss about safety tips for families caring for babies. It's a really good, helpful picture. And so some of the basics. So we need to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for age and developmentally appropriate products. The best time to baby fruit proof is early in the pregnancy. So you can add the safety items on your registry list. And the best way to baby proof is also to think like a baby. You may need to get down on your hands and knees to survey the environment and search for items that may pose a safety risk for the baby. Child proofing is an ongoing process and be sure to safeguard alternative locations homes your child may visit often, such as babysitter or relatives' homes. Bathroom safety tips. So bathing can be stressful for the baby and you. So following some guidelines can help relieve anxiety and make it a rewarding and safe experience for everyone. Uh, you can also organize and collect all the bathing materials before bringing baby into the bathroom. Never leave a baby unattended, even with older children. Okay, um, never add water to the tub while baby's in it. The water should not be more than a 120 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are using a baby bath seat, never lift the product with the baby in it. And discontinue use if a product is broken, damaged, or bath seat moves or tips while child is in it. And other safety tips for the bathroom. So you wanna empty the tub completely after use. A baby can drown in as little as one inch of water, so do not leave the child unattended. Place a cushion cover over the water faucet so your child won't be hurt if he or she bumps his or her head against it. And bleach, medicine, drain cleaner should be kept out of the baby's reach. Child-proof safety locks for cabinets are recommended. So some car seat safety tips here. So the back seat is the safest place for children under 13 years old to ride. Children should ride rear facing until they reach the maximum rear facing weight or height allowed by the instructions. Register your car seat. Car seats could be recalled for safety reasons and you must register your car seat to be reached in the event of a recall. Ensure everyone in the car is buckled up. Prevent heat stroke. Never leave a young child alone in a car. Create reminders by putting something you'll need soon after arrival at your destination in the back seat. For example, a briefcase, a purse, or a cell phone. Take action. If you see a child alone in a car, call first responders at 911. Okay, here are some safe playtime tips um, for those caring for babies. So never leave a baby unattended. Never place the infant swing, activity center, or bouncer near windows, stairs, draperies, blinds, TVs, um, plants, fireplaces, or decorative accessories with long cords that baby could reach. Discontinue use when your baby outgrows the manufacturer's recommended age, height, weight, or developmental limits. Okay, so now to the sleep and sleep space safety tips. Okay, always place baby on back to, to sleep. This helps prevent suffocation and reduces sudden infant death syndrome. Okay, keep the pillows, quilts, comforters, cushions at a baby's crib, bassinet, or play yard. Use a crib, play yard, and bassinet that meet current CPSC standards, right? Which is US Consumer Product Safety Commission standards. Use a firm, tight fitting mattress. So here's a very good example and kind of a good um, picture kind of to summarize what we just talked about. So it's really good and very informative. And here are some of our available resources here at Brooklyn Hospital. Um, if you need to make an appointment for your baby, you can always go through calling 1833-TBHC now or 1833-824-2669. And here's some different locations for Family Center, uh, here at Brooklyn Hospital Center. And here's some of our references. So let's celebrate Baby Safety Month together and make sure that they are safe and sound in our care. So thank you for watching our Ask the Nurse web series. Um, please place comments or click like on the section below. Thank you and have a good day.